But if he can pound the zone, he's going to continue to improve, and we're going to see continued good starts in the next. Check swing, and it looked like he went around, and they'll ask David Savage at first base, and he said 3-0 and to Pearson, and he just walked him on four straight pitches. But they like to hit their way around, and they've been successful at it, and that's another four-pitch walk. Dugout right now. That didn't miss by much, but it's 12 straight pitches out of the zone. You're attacking the nine-hole hitter with breakers, and he gets him. Wanzing got into a mess, but strikes out back-to-back -back hitters to get out of it. That is ripped to left field, a base hit for Austin Bose. Last night, he lost a 10-game hit streak felt that way. Oh, a four-pitch walk to Ryan Targach. A rare walk. Did hit that ground ball pull side, and it got through. A&M will take the lead. Austin Post scores. Got him looking. On an 0-2. And that just cannot happen. Coach Josh Nagel is probably going to be furious for his trouble. A shallow fly ball. Josh Pearson's coming in. He'll make the catch. That's two down. Hit hard. Over the glove of Dugas. Hank Bard with a clutch two-out hit that scores Ryan Targach. Runners are going. That's fisted toward foul territory. Tommy White got back there to make the catch. But he's so good with his glove over there. Another walk. That clipped. Gavin Dugas. Missed outside with two straight pitches. It's a walk to Pearson. Ripped, liner at Hunter Haas, and he snared it. And he has turned the Tigers away. Keep them where they are, so that's pretty. Moss the opposite way for a base hit. Oh. I'll make it a double play ball out of it. Floyd double pumped and then threw it away. He, re he recruited a lot of these guys. Yeah. That plunk Targosh. Targosh was hit, and so was Brady Neal, the catcher. He is down. That got away. That's going to the backstop. 3 0 AM. Jack Moss comes home. Caden Kent with another RBI opportunity. That's high and tight. It's a check swing. That'll get another run home. Excuse me, and by accident, Caden Kent drives home Austin Boast. Call strike three to Jordan Thompson. And they don't seem to be doing that just yet. There's the first hit of the game for the Tigers. Jordan Thompson stroked that to left field. Neal did not agree. But next pitch, base hit to right. Back-to-back -back hits for LSU. No damage done. He just missed the corner. Liner back up the middle, and the Tigers will find the scoreboard. They'll get two as Tommy White drives in. Thompson and Neal. to left field, another run coming home. Dugas drives in, Cruz. LSU within one. And the Tigers are swinging away. They may take the lead here. It's tied and they'll round third base. Now slipping and falling after rounding third was Dugas. So they'll hold him up there. Originally, they were waving him home.
the plate, hit a hard liner his last time up, but it was caught at shortstop. That is a fair ball over the bag at first base. Two more score. It's a six-run inning for LSU. Kind of fools him here with a changeup. It gets off the cap, and you can see Jones doesn't even know it's in play. He doesn't even attempt to run. He looks up and, oh man, that's <laughs> that's a fair ball. I gotta go. That's a nice little two, BR, two RBI gift there that he didn't know he was gonna get. That is laced. But that's at Hunter Haas. Lavalette is aboard to start the bottom of the fourth as the Aggies try to punch back. Can't even turn two from that position. Off and running is Lavalette. Good read on the dropped ball at home plate by Brady Neal. Center field. Backing up Dylan Cruz. The Aggies will tag with Lavalette going to third base. On the ball to the corner, which would have been a They will throw out Case and Wells, but Lavalette will score. There it is. Kind of like last night, he chased low and away. Buzz about his bat and how good of a hitter he is. He's gone the opposite way here to start it off. Extra bases coming, or will there be a play at second? No, there won't. Double for Tommy White. And to hit batsman, so two are aboard with nobody out. Two RBI single. And now he may have three RBIs. He does. That's gone over the left field wall. Big swing of the bat from the big DH, Jared Jones. LSU ups the lead. Five driven in today by Jared Jones. The bats are alive. A double by Tommy White. A smashed ball on the line by Jones. And top spun just a little to where you weren't sure if it was going to get out. It didn't get out by a ton. Although it was crushed off the bat. And look at the excitement there. Gonna have to throw a strike to avoid hearing from the Bluebell Park crowd. He didn't. They'll come after him. Well, Boomer mentioned it earlier that back in the fourth inning, Edwards issued his first walk of the year. Score a run here if you're Texas A&M. You keep this game within reach. Hunter Haas just did. Second hit of the game for Hunter Haas, and he drives home Jace Lavalette. Off the big righty. Two hits today. And that's off of Garrett Edwards. And then Tommy White couldn't handle it. Ripped by Jack Moss, his second hit of the day. Hit that hard, but hit it right at Jordan Thompson. And he will throw out Boast. That'll end the inning. The Aggies get a run. They get within 9-6. Late innings are coming up next. Garcia knocked that down, but then threw it in the dirt. That's a check swing, and it'll land in shallow right field. Didn't do much, but put it in the right spot. Here's two-strike approach again. Back up the middle, pass to diving, Austin Boast. Beat the shift. Tigers tack on another, Trey Morgan scores. An offense that just does not stop. Walk issued to Gavin Dugas. Leaf. Sky to center. Austin Boast calls everybody off. Very important right now. And he keeps having a day. 
just ripping the baseball as Jared Jones. He just drove in his seventh run of the game. This bullpen to get exposed to see these hitters start tagging the ball around the yard. They're down six. Targach with a rip to right to start the inning. The faith there. First two Aggies are aboard. Center field, Dylan Cruz over toward the gap. LSU one out away, Ryan Targach will score. Jordan Thompson will end it. LSU takes the series. They win 12 to seven on this Saturday.